Aortic dissection is a tear in the aorta, the largest artery in the body. Because the aorta carries blood from the heart to the circulatory system, when it splits open, it usually means sudden death. For some patients lucky enough to make it into an operating room, surgeons are utilizing a super cool down of the body. News 8's Ann Sterling has more in your health. Aortic dissection is caused by a weak aorta, the artery that carries blood from the heart to the body. When it ruptures, it's often deadly. 50% of the time, people who present with dissection don't make it to the hospital. Of the people who do make it to the hospital, only half of those survive. Meaning time is critical. The way that how we've gotten better results is understanding how to protect the brain during uh, the surgery. It's what we call anti-grade cerebral protection. Doctors do this by using hypothermia induction or cooling the body to preserve the brain during heart-lung bypass. What we call hypothermic circulatory arrest is when we cool the body down, we stop all flow, uh, blood flow to the rest of the body. Sandra Fernandez loves to spend time in her kitchen, but recently surgeons needed to treat an aortic aneurysm. Dr. Lee removed Sandra's aneurysm and replaced her heart valve during the operation. Doctors induced hypothermia to protect her brain function. Whatever we've been able to fix will stay that way for her for the rest of her life. Sandra woke up in recovery to a very happy family. Now she's enjoying life, cooking for her kids, using her grandmother's precious recipes. I feel happy because I say, okay, I'm here again, I survived. <laughs> With your health, I'm Ann Sterling. Acute aortic dissection can be sudden and is marked by intense chest pain. Each hour that someone delays going to the hospital, the mortality rate increases by 1%. And our coverage of health news can also be found at WQAD.com. Just head to our website and you'll find your health in the search bar at the top of the page. In fact, you can find all our Your Health stories in that section of WQAD.com.